I'm back. What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Dakayla Johnson, and I'm back with another video welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video as you can see from the title we are going to do a discuss it with dk so before i go into today's topic i'm just going to explain to you guys what that means so discuss it with dk i wanted to create a platform where i sit down and talk to y'all about topics and you guys can talk back to me in the comments write a story tell me what you think tell me if you don't agree with me and what you feel um and just have that dialogue you know we're in this covid season where people can't actually be in person so y'all can have the dialogue with me um through my videos so dk is um a nickname that many people gave me and it's not my family um, it started in middle school when this boy called me DK and then a lot of other people followed. In high school, people didn't really call me DK much. They called me Dakayla, but once I got into college, a lot of people started calling me DK. And it's crazy because I didn't tell them that people gave me that nickname in middle school. I kind of just let it rock. So discuss it with DK. Welcome to the channel. This is not going to be every video, but most of the videos are going to be um discuss it with dk video today's topic is how to know your self-worth and build confidence this is something that i lacked for the longest and i just love helping people um watching like people on social media i kind of see people cry for help and like people genuinely want to have confidence within themselves but it's not that easy like you can want something but you know you have to go after it so i wanted to come on here to give you guys my tips and tricks on how i built up my confidence and how i learned my self-worth now learning your self-worth and building up your confidence is definitely not a one-size-fits-all so what works for me might not necessarily work for you but you will never know until you try so it's important to try things out I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and tricks, um, kind of lecture you a little bit, not really. If you wanna learn, you could you could continue to watch. If you don't wanna listen to me talk, you could easily click off. Um, but yeah, I just wanna put y'all on because I know a lot of people are trying to have confidence and trying to understand their self-worth and it's definitely hard out here, so I'm trying to help y'all. The first thing that I did was I blocked out the outside noise. Everybody that's talking to me, telling me what to wear, what to do, how to act, how to do this, how to do that, I blocked it out. It was straight tunnel vision, me and God focusing on myself. And so I would recommend doing that um, because in this world, there will be a lot of people trying to tell you how to do things, especially on social media, telling you how to act, how to react, how to be in your friendships, how to be in your relationships, how to, you're supposed to look, all this stuff. So I blocked out the outside noise, straight blocked it out. The second thing I did was I tried to be myself in my rawest form. So you can't fully a thousand percent love yourself if you are behind makeup, if you are behind weave, if you are behind clothes, because you're being dependent on those things to help you love yourself. And so I had to drop everything that I was dependent on to fully love myself. That included filters on Snapchat, filters on Instagram. And if y'all know me, you notice that I don't really use filters like that because the only way I can a thousand percent love myself is love me for who God made me for. Like love me in my truest form. That's why I don't wear makeup. I embrace my hyperpigmentation. I embrace my eyebrows when they're looking crazy. Of course I have braids in right now, but that's because my curly hair be giving me some time, some hard time. So, um, yeah, but I embraced myself in my purest form. And that's how I started to build confidence and love myself. Cause I just, this is who I am, take it or leave it. The next thing I did was revolving around knowing your self-worth. So in life, people treat you how you treat yourself. So if you treat yourself like you're up there, like you're bougie, like you deserve better, people are gonna treat you like that. But if you treat yourself like you're crap, like you're trash, people are gonna treat you like that. So I would do things for myself. 
A lot of people depend on their friends or their man to make them feel special, buy them flowers, do this, do that, the third. No, do that for yourself. Show yourself that you value yourself and you love yourself. That's literally what I had to do. I had to do self-care days. Those are very important. Self-care days, just buying myself stuff because I deserved it. Speaking words of affirmation into myself because I am amazing and I do great things. Do that for yourself. Treat yourself the way you want to be treated and treat yourself how you want people to treat you. And I bet you once you start doing that and people see how you value yourself, they're going to start valuing you. I'm telling you, try it. The next tip I give is stop comparing yourself to other people. There are so many lost souls in this world because people try to be like someone they're not. They try to compare themselves to the next person. They try to act like someone they're not on social media. You'll be at the most peace when you are a thousand percent yourself. People who are not at peace is because they're trying so much to like fit in or do things for other people. And I always say, if you're worried about having friends or a significant other, they're not going to love you when you're being somebody who you're, who you are not. Like people that actually love you and should be in your life will gravitate towards you once you're being your true self. And those are the true people that you deserve in your life. So another thing I would suggest is speaking words of affirmation into yourself every morning. Wake up, look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful, I am loved, I am amazing. And just say everything that you feel about yourself. A reason that people lack confidence is because they're way too focused on this and not this. Like, when I tell you your looks, okay, yes, your looks matter for now. Embrace them now while you're in your youth because when you get older, sometimes they fade. Embrace your looks, yes, but that's not all that matters. What matters is what's in here, what's in your heart, who you truly are as an individual. And I need people to start speaking words of affirmation into their life and speaking it based off of their heart and who they are as an individual because a lot of y'all speak it based off of what you look like on the outside I, I am beautiful i am gorgeous i am cute yes you are but you are also intelligent you are also amazing you are also loving you are also heartwarming you are also hardworking. like speak on who you are as an individual and not what people see on the outside i feel like that's another thing that helped me so much because I never really realized who I was and how hardworking, determined, I gotta gas myself up a little bit. Hardworking, determined, strong, you see that strength? That's me. And I never really realized the type of person I was until I had to do that to myself. And I, you know what? We gonna do something. If you watched till this part of the video, I want everybody that watched right now to comment down below your strengths mentally, like what you love about yourself mentally and physically comment that down below we are gonna spread a positivity thread okay comment everything you love about yourself mentally and physically down below i want to see what everybody says y'all need to start pouring into yourself that's the quickest way to gain your self-confidence and know your self-worth because when you have confidence you know your worth you know who you are you know what you bring to the table and other people need to match that that's where i'm at in life other people need to match me because I know who I am and I know what I bring to the table. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, type it in the comment section below and I will answer everything. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Again, you see that red subscribe button, click it right here. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share turn your post notifications everything to interact with this and i will have some more bomb videos coming your way but thank you so much and i hope you guys have an amazing day